See that breath? Ooh, it's a chilly October morning in the UK. And my friend Chris is um, time to load up some cases. One block me. Whiskey cases! All of these bags. The I've got, got whiskey in. Oh, get the heating on. We just got a little upgrade on uh, Virgin to premium economy because it's put in a cheap bid. Anyway, it means that we get our bags in. Okay, we're on a mission. So I've dropped Deepa off at Terminal 3 with all the bags with the whiskey in because she's going to the VAT tax refund. And we heard that the line could be really long maybe even a couple of hours, which means things are super tight. So now I'm going to refuel the car, take it to the rental drop-off, get the bus back, hopefully meet up with Deepa by the time uh, she's getting the VAT receipts. Drop off the car. Oh, gotta put it in gear first. <laughs> and take the handbrake off. Come on. I know, I know, seatbelt as well. Plane's landing. We're trying to find the uh, the drop off. Where is it? Three? Yeah, three. three yeah. No way. Thanks. Bye now. Right. Find deeper. Get some bat money back. <laughs> the moment we only got $40 back <laughs> because um, there's about another $80 or something to go on the credit cards. We just have to wait. You know it's bad when you need a spreadsheet to keep track of the bottles. Green bag's the most expensive. Purple next. Then orange. Then the big one. Every bag has syrup bottles in it, so if you want to put uh, fragile on there? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that was fine. 22.6. Okay. Hooray, we passed. <laughs> last, <laughs> last, night's, last night's reshuffle worked out. <laughs> it's going to be thrown around a lot harder once it disappears. We made it to the gate without picking up any duty free. No, there's plenty of time. They weren't that good. I didn't like the lag of all in 10 that much. Hi, 21C. Down this way, please. Thanks. Quick FaceTime with Mummy and Daddy before we go. Yeah, but the question is, will the bags arrive? Yes! Success! Very friendly officers, I thought. We're free. The only, the only challenge we have left is finding a car to take us home. Everything fit in the Prius. <laughs> Good work. I thought we were going to need a big van. I know for um, continuity purposes, I probably shouldn't have cut my hair this morning, but it really is the day after we arrived. Let's talk about customs before we open <laughs> these bags. There's a lot of whiskey in these bags. You're only allowed two liters duty-free coming into the US. But, you know, as long as you declare it, for example, if you declared 20 liters of whiskey <laughs> and you're honest about it, they were very friendly. It would only be $4 per liter extra for duty, coming into California at least. And honestly, it's not worth their trouble claiming it. And they said, we had a nice chat about whiskey. <laughs> they said, enjoy your whiskey. So what whiskey do we have this time? And it is a ridiculous haul. Uh, let's just go one bag at a time. 
We were a bit anxious, of course, that maybe something wouldn't, wouldn't arrive. And we honestly have not checked the bags yet to see. Did you think everything was going to be okay? Did you have confidence? I, I didn't have to do uh, a massive video about this. Yeah. I thought I need to open Now we were a little bit strategic because there is a five litre limit on spirits per bag for fuel burning purposes, I think, for that safety. Yes. And so we made sure that the most expensive bottles were in um, a bag that only had a five litre limit. Let's see if we can prop, let's prop this case open somewhere. That should work. <laughs> okay, here we go. Everything is looking good. It's really good so far. As soon as we got at the back of it. All right. The back of it is further, further <laughs> the back of it. So this, now some of these bottles were picked up from Scotch whiskey auctions. Let's go inside and see what we can find. And they provide these bubble wraps. So we have two little ones to start and some socks. And the two little ones. It's just a bit off. From where? The open oven. I have got a 10 year Manzanilla cask at 55%. I've never tried to sherry, but that is fine. Which, but, but, um, which have you got though? It's another bottle of sherry or money. No, it's not it, sherry. It, no. No, it's bourbon. Oh, the bottle, it's the first name. 15 year Moigna is smoke. Oh. So it's a 15 year pe peated bourbon from Bonahaven. Two little ones to start. Okay, what is this? Uh, uh, I use socks as well. <laughs> don't, don't show your socks. How rude. And this one was from Scotch Whiskey Auctions. MC 01 2009. <laughs> yes, so uh, a Port Charlotte that we just wanted to... Oh. We just wanted one and, and it's sold out in the US. Should we, should, we go, should we go over prices? If we can remember, I think the two bunners were about 35 pounds each. Up. And the Port Charlotte was around 100 pounds. What's that one? Oh, I see it's, it's boutique-y. We got this up at TD Watson's in Dumfries. This is a boutique whiskey company. It's a 15 year Brook Laddie. Oh yeah, I remember now. 52.2%. Uh, it's only a 50 CL bottle. And I think it was around uh, 60, 60 pounds. So what is it? That is from the ocean to, to be built up. And if you uh, cast strength, but it is ABV. Not cask strength, but it is 48 ABV. An 18 year old Laphroaig, which I've seen over here for about 300 US. And I think we picked this up for about 85 pounds or 90 pounds from Scotch whiskey auctions. Back about this. What, what is it? Oh, <laughs> came head. This was on the last day when we said we would not buy any more. I've got to buy. I think. <laughs> I think. I have to. I have from India. Yeah. <laughs> but I saw India and I'm getting it. Got yeah. to to try it. So it's a Paul John that was five years matured in Goa, India, and then shipped to the Cadenhead warehouse and it was but two, another two, years. two years in Campbelltown. <laughs> so I'm a good So Deepa just had to get that one. 
Another one from Scotch Whiskey Auctions. And uh, this one is Dalmore. Because I really wanted to try a Dalmore, which did not look like a Dalmore. And this one is 14, 40 years. 14 years at 46%. But of course, it's non colored. Uh, let's see. I hope you can read the labels. I guess I can pull things back here a little bit. What's in this box? This game of a gas. Oh, it's just glasses. You know when you do um when you do warehouse tastings, you get Safe. you get all kinds of little glasses to try. That one was from Lefroy. Oh, did you black pen? Hey. You know what to get for Christmas? Yeah. No, no, no. no I, I've got twelve of them. Go for it. Oh, we have. My own. <laughs> Oh yeah, Cadenhead Warehouse Tasting. That was a nice glass. And this one, oh, I was just editing the Glen Scotia video. What a fantastic tasting that was. Yeah, that is so good. I is really, really good. I I think Deep is saying this is the best Isla that she's tasted. In Compton. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put them at the back. So we've got no shortage of glassware now. Another ah. from East. This one is a whole bunch of minis. We got the uh, the door, but we got a book. No, we got we got these from um, all types of dis these are leftovers from distillery warehouse tastings. So this one is Port Charlotte, fourteen year, eight year bourbon, six year French dessert wine at fifty eight percent. Okay, so here. Oh, Glen Scotia, six year ex bourbon, heavily peated. Oh, this one was fantastic, sixty two percent. Another glass go here. What's uh, what is it? This one is uh, 10 years bourbon, two years peated wine, first spill Chateau Morac. Another 50. For the first one, and I like a burn them off from here. Oh, first fill bourbon from 2006. No, this was, uh, this was the second first fill bourbon. This is a first fill Oloroso, 56% from Glen Scotia. <laughs> Brooklady 2001, slightly peated Brooklady, 54%. Let's go here. Uh, first fill Tawny Port, also peated, 57%. These are Let's some go amazing here. ones. Let's go Glen here. Scotia bourbon. This is the first barrel. Deepa thought this one was absolutely fantastic. Wow. More? Oh, the, the new spirit. Ah, yeah, new some, make. some new make from Bunnahaven. One is peated. A beef and not peated. Yeah, one is unpeated. <laughs> 25 years. 25 year what? Bunnahaven. A sample of a Bunnahaven 25 year. Octomore. Another one. Three. Oh, yeah. So this was the Octomore from Brooklady. So this is effectively a 10 year old 6.3, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's we, no longer we, we a 6.3, like, but... We call it the 6.3 plus 5. Yeah. Uh, Octomore 6.3. I think it's a Royal. It was ah. fantastic mini Royal for the first time. Yes. Roy, we drank one of the Rosebank 12 year uh, flora and fauna bottles in Scotland. And this one we've brought back. And the first one was absolutely delicious. Hi, hi. We were late because Deepa wanted extra cheese with her dessert. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't the type of meal that you rushed the right. Another one. Lagavulin, but you do. Oh, a 22 year old Lagavulin. 51.8%. These are the types of things you get at distillery warehouse tastings. And occasionally, at warehouse tastings, you can also buy a bottle of one of the things that you've tasted. And this one was from the Cadenhead tasting. The most important thing is what was in cast before. Okay, more than the For me, I think, 
That's what's going to give you all the colour, all the flavour. Get Bucky, or oh, uh, get yeah. Bucky. A 14 year old Glen Berge, uh, Sherry Hogshead, and it is 54.3%. And this was pretty cheap at about £50, I think it was. Where should we squeeze that in? Let's see, there's three more in this bag. Let's go for this one. What is it? <laughs> Pretty plain label. Single much gold scotch. What did I just say? Sim single. I haven't been drinking today. Single malt scotch whiskey. Distilled in Aaron at the distillery, 1996. So this is a 22 or 21 year old. I forget. Cast uh, strength, Aaron, and it is a private bottling, and it was really cheap. I'll have to double check, but it was something like seventy-five pounds for a twenty-two-year-old cask strength Aaron, and that one uh, again was Scotch whiskey auctions. Here's a slightly unusual one, unusual in that it's from. Where? Oh, shit. No. Oh, then. I think I'm going to the newest distillery. They come in early to beat the heat of the day, allow the yeast to do their job properly. Yeah, I mean, what's the temperature in here right now? It's, uh, I don't want to guess. It's hot. Yes, and nothing's on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know, uh, Los Angeles in the summer yeah. <laughs> in here at the moment. What's it called? Annandale. Annandale in... Dumfries. No, it's near Dumfries. It's in Annandale. Annandale. <laughs> no, it's in, I think it's in Annan. I think about after our from Dumfries. And um, you probably will have seen our distillery tour video there. They really gave us a nice tour around and chat. And um, now this is only a four year old whiskey. And it was a hundred and twenty pounds, so very expensive for a four-year-old. But we wanted to support. Yeah, we wanted to support the new distillery, and also, um, you know, we got quite a few samples and things as well. So, man of words is not the peated one. So we just wanted to take the straight bourbon, unpeated uh, distillery character. And the last one. Oh, benefits at ten years. Uh, it was a pretty good D. Well, this I isn't. A, 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 a dollar, this isn't a, the the normal Ben Nevis. This is the ten year uh, at cask strength or batch strength, sixty two point four percent. And this is batch number one. I was looking for it. Yeah, batch one. And yeah, batch number one. So this cost us about a hundred pounds, and I think this was from. Edinburgh. It's Edinburgh. Maybe so I might. Whiskey and wine? No. Oh, well, we have a video. Still in view of the castle. Some churchy business behind us. And Royal Mile whiskey in front. Let's push Ben Nevis up the front there. That's it. Not bad for one bag. Do you think when you put a fragile sticker on that they they don't throw it around? I'm not so sure. Bag number two. Let's. Okay, that should stay open by itself. First up. Oh no. First up, a twin set of glasses. Uh, uh. I did not know that we get them for free. Well, we didn't get. Well, we did get these for free. <laughs> free from Roy. We now have a set of Aquavite glasses. Thanks, Roy. Uh, uh, Delivered at the Bon Accord, no less. Uh, let's see. Where shall we go? A few interesting ones I see in here. What about? Oh, that was our first bye. <laughs> This was... <laughs> if that's St George, 
as in as in St. George Baller. Hang on, but it says Stranahan's for 80. <laughs> Confusing prices, let me ask. Oh, it's a SFO. Do SFO. Yeah, it went all around back to SFO. It was $80, I think, at the duty free on the way out. We almost, we almost every bit behind. That's because we got so many. What do you remember about this one? Black Friday. At the ABV 34 Bartics. 18 year old from Orkney is, uh, it's from Orkney, so what does that mean? No, it means it's a Highland Park. It's um, oh. a bottling for, was it Master of Malt? Whiskey Exchange. I can't remember which one. Um, but we bought it at Scotch Whiskey Auctions, and again, it was, yeah, Whiskey Exchange. I can't remember the price. 80 or 90 pounds, I think it was, for a cask strength Highland Park. And it is. So it's actually a Highland Park. Yeah, and I'm trying to remember is it oh, a single. Okay. Is it a single barrel? Uh, one of 1400 bottles. So it would be a small, a small vatting. Looking forward to that one. That was an auction bottle. This one. Do you remember getting this one? I said that. I Oh, yes. Wow, beautiful. Gosh, I love the Kaya. It's so good. And we literally don't know what spring bank is in here, other than it's spring bank. Nobody knows. It's the Cadenhead shop in Campbelltown and they have their own living casks or at least living glass bottles. Only, only we gave a And so it is a mystery Springbank blend which is 56% but we tasted it in the shop. We were a bit drunk when we tasted it but we thought it was fantastic. And so this is a bottle of Springbank that only exists in this form when you're in the shop. Would you like a melon? Oh. The Good Spirits Company. We better do this spring. Good spring. It's a beautiful shop. And we. I have the, I have the local, the Abus. And we wanted to buy something with a Good Spirits label on it. And we were looking around and we were chatting to them. And he did say, Do you know Ralphie on YouTube? <laughs> we're like, Yeah, of course we know Ralphie on YouTube. So, how, how could we not pick up a Ralphie bottle? of the Ben Nevis. Like it, how many boxes does it tick for our tour? <laughs> Good spirits label, Ralphie on the label, <laughs> something unusual. It just came in yesterday and there's a few bottles left. So this is the 10 years of Ralphie celebration Ben Nevis for the, um, in, in partnership with the Good Spirits Company. 61%. 45 pounds, what a perfect gift from the Good Spirits Company. I mean, a gift to ourselves to pick up a Ralphie tenure. Uh, we had no expectation that that was going to be in there. We are still recuperating. Compass box, no name. Old Perth. Old, Old Perth, I think, is half Macallan, half Highland Park. At least it was originally. I think the blend may have changed a bit since then. I've been curious about Old Perth for a while. And from, we got it from Edinburgh. But those stuff. 45, 44.9% ABV. We almost need to sacrifice the empty box because of shipping weight. Oh, I mean, you almost get up the box. Yeah. Before it's pretty it. So this is a 23 year old and at least in the past, it's been a blend which has included Highland Park and Macallan, maybe. And um, how much did we pay? One, well, three, something. No, it's more than that. I think it was 150. Uh, something about there. So, 
I uh, don't see Old Perth over here in the US. Okay, you get that one. What's in here? Oh yeah, it's not the key button. Oh yeah. It's the key button side. Yes. It's the 59.4% cask strength Talisker 8. And we have to give it to um, oh. our spring bank. You give us <laughs> a, a, a set of spring bank. You put it. Yes. I have to get a little bottle. So that was actually quite expensive. I think we ended up paying 110 for that. But it's um, expensive. Just because it's not available anymore. I mean, it was quite expensive originally, I think. Another Glen Scotia glass. Ardbeck. Hey, an Ardbeck. The Ardbeck is the statue of a star. What's this one? Gladi. A little Gladi glass. Oh, cheers. We. We didn't bring your bottle back. You know, oh. Deepa's winning whiskey bottle. Well, actually, we left it with friends, but we did. Oops, we did bring the case. <laughs> so this is your your uh, marathon winning whiskey bottle. Run, Deepa, run! Hey, first Deepa runner in. Well done, hey! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The boxes for these will turn up somewhere else because we were using the boxes for um, yeah we bought it after the shipping losses. Ah, it was put by. Oh yeah. It was, it was, it was quite expensive. Glen Scotia. Uh, about ninety. Hundred ninety pounds. Mm -hmm. But honestly, that warehouse tasting, we had, we I lost count. About seven six, or, or seven of them. No, it was seven or eight. And the last one being a 30 year Glen Scotia. Wait, where are we guys? How is that? <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. Okay. Mm. Mm. Oh wow! <laughs> I like all it was the best warehouse tasting ever. Everyone go to Glen Scotia and visit in Campbelltown, of course. So this Glen Scotia is um, 57.9%. It is about 19 years old. Yeah, 1999 to 2018. And cask number 453. So, uh, one of 195 bottles. So it's a single cask that's going to be something like the sample that we liked. And when you go to Glen Scotia for the family's book, the famous Ardshield Ar Bar. Oh yeah, the Ardshield Bar. <laughs> not your, not your traditional, book. not your traditional uh, whiskey bottle. And I should probably decant this into glass uh, quite quickly. Use this water bottle and help reduce plastic waste. Uh, the warehouse tasting. This is full maturation in. Uh, Fino Sherry, 56.1%. But we are busy at four different barrels of the sherry, but we don't know very different from the other. Well, it's a bit closer uh -oh. to Oloroso, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's beautiful now. It's amazing, I love it. Mm. There's a little bit of that. I'm giving it the beauty of the old. This of all. It's quite a safety. Sure. No, I don't know, so we have never had to know where we go. That does taste a bit more like the car juice. She wanted me to put it in the middle of the castle. Yeah. Wow. I just found this. You can sit in the most weight. Because the finish is so long. I put this by. I put this by. I mean, it's not that old. And I wanted to experiment mixing this with cask strength. I put this like unusual flavour. Ooh. Mmm. Oh, that's pretty good. It's the best drink I've ever had out of a water bottle before. 
<laughs> wow. Oh. It's a total pleasure, tough start to finish. Yeah. And, and, and young. Eight, yeah. Eight or nine years? Eight? But if I don't ask, it's fine to get in back when we go out. And now, let me get ash. Well, pepper. first sip though. Is there anything else? <laughs> it is some peated new make from Annandale. <laughs> One more. For here. This is the 2018. The 2018 Springbank. 21 year. And this is the one which has um, a bit of rum in the mix. They can uh, put the uh, at the end. Yeah. Uh, so a little bit of story with this was that I bought this at Graham, Robert, Robert Graham in, in Glasgow. In uh, Glasgow. Mm, let's see. What's that? It's the 2019. I have to look up and see which one that is. And I ended up ordering it online and it asked for my US, um, asked for my address, which was US. So when I put it in, the VAT was taken off because presumably it was going to be shipped to the US. But then I put pick up locally and the VAT stayed off, which is kind of fair because we are leaving the country with it and here it is. And so we ended up paying about 183 pounds for the Springbank 21. That is very, very good deal because after that, but we not to other 20 or to other 25 pounds. The best other the place we saw it was at Berry Brothers and Rudd uh, for 200 and no, the um, it, it, Valhalla's Goat in Glasgow had one for about 190 189 oh. Right, I think we are done. Bag number two. We actually borrow a <laughs> Yes, we had to borrow this one off my mum. <laughs> and uh, I had all the bags out by the front door when we were getting ready to leave. And my mum said, is that bag full of whiskey? I said, yes. She didn't ask about the other bags. <laughs> but, um, she might be watching. Hello, mummy. <laughs> oh, and, and, and um, we got it for our very first anniversary for mum. Oh yeah, it was our twenty fifth wedding anniversary and, and while we were there. Very useful for pointing out where yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's. where things come from. Oh, it's great. These are the cases for the, or the cartons for the small Bonnehavens, but they were perfect for putting whiskey glasses in to protect them. That was a Bonner. No, a Brookladdy glass. What's this one? Oh, another Caden head glass. So much glassware. Let's get to a bottle. Pull that one out. Oh! oh. <laughs> it's got to explain this. So, wow. Ass. My, my career that let us buy all this whiskey uh, was in stereoscopic 3D. Uh, me and Deepa both worked at DreamWorks Animation and my job in particular was doing the, th the 3D movie, you know, 3D glasses. And so how could I leave this bottle behind? <laughs> it is 3D, it is a blended malt of Dalwini, Dalyuan and Duff Town. And it comes with 3D glasses <laughs> for the label in 3D. So now I've got... 
a bottle of whiskey that represents my career, which allowed me to buy 3D whiskey. I have a, I have a first beat, but I, I get a scope so daddy. Yeah. <laughs> My first romantic date with Deepa was to take her to the Stereoscopic Society in London, where we watch 3D slideshows. Oh, we got that bottle at Hedonism Wines. It was actually a £50 bottle, I think. But that shop... I am <laughs> I think we set a new record for highest price, at least. Wow, very expensive whiskey. I think it's probably the most expensive collection of whiskey I've ever seen in the shop. If you haven't seen our Headlands and Wines shop tour, it's almost like a museum. Go and look at that. I think, um, I mean, it's the only shop I've ever been in where Port Ellen's we're not in the glass cabinet. I mean, somewhere, but somewhere, if that gives you an indication. Oh, kill home and glass. We got a new 100% Ireland to try. It's the most of that. It's a bad place. It's very nice uh, seeing the glasses come out. This is the, this is the can for the, Glen Scotia. These were these were cans from previous previous cases. I'll put them back here. But from um, uh, uh, whis there's no whiskey in this one either. You move that uh, from seven up. Okay. You pull a bottle out because oh no, actually this is yours. Again, we use the cans oh, yeah. for glassware. It's like a glassware unboxing. It just shows you how many uh, warehouse tastings we went to. Another Kilhoman. Does it say Springbank on it? Oh, I don't know if we're gonna get this glass out. What's that one there? I know, you're waiting for whiskey and we're just pulling glasses out. Kilhoman! How do we end up with three Kilhoman glasses? Um, awesome. Yes, Scotch whiskey auctions again. Hey look, you're you're ruining the collectability oh, of our bottle. But we don't care because we're going to be drinking them all. Spirit of Freedom. It's a Campbelltown blended malt. I mean I shouldn't say Campbelltown, it's a Mitchell's as in you know, Cadenhead, Mr. Mitchell. And I also saw the same bottle in Springbank. Yeah, we saw it in the, the shop. Springbank shop. It's a gap in it. And I don't remember what we paid. Hundred and something. And we also saw again in, in, in the Davidson Yes, down. but it's a 30 year blend. I'm hoping it has a lot of malt in there and possibly even a lot of Springbank, possibly. Then you get a from another for start out from Austin. You take the bottle out. It's difficult. No, take this, take that out. You should remember that one. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Good job. My first. <laughs> Oh yes, oh yes. There were there were two bottles for you. I I put the label on it. She also ordered. I thought it's different, but it it be the other bottle. And it wasn't me. So this is the balance bottle that um is got a balance. Yeah, which you pick up at the distillery in the shop. Now you don't have to do a tour to get this. You can just go into the shop, but it's a single cask distillery release. And this one is, was this the wine? Port Charlotte, hang on, what was the finish? There was that two, two shoes. The Single both. cask, heavily peated, single island, but which, which, uh, hang on. Matured, distilled, oh dear. 
I can't remember what it was. One number forty-seven, which is this one. Yeah, to put that in a cup and. At the group of this one is wine though. Is that one the wine one? Sorry, we don't have our facts. I will. At the bun. People uh, with the restaurant, the owner of the restaurant and oh. Oh yeah, the artisan in Wishaw. <laughs> so if you that, if you need a choice. That's not including the three thousand bottles I have at home. <laughs> right, it's plus three thousand backups. Yeah. And that is all balance. Yeah. Every number of one to forty-seven. Yeah, he has I, I think every it's balance. Number forty-eight. No, this one is forty-seven. Ours was forty-seven. So ah, forty-seven. And this cask is premium French wine, and uh, it's uh, fourteen uh, years old. And uh, it's a new, but our staff that came in the two weeks ago, we bought it back to it. So this is Ian McLean, warehouseman. And it's 63.5% on a 14 year old. I remember tasting this one in the shop and it was fantastic as well. Let's put it up front so you can have a look. Should we put Ian's face out? There we go. Elements of Isla. I've been curious about Elements of Isla for a while. It's only a 50 CL bottle. It was about 110 pounds. From Dumfries. From TD Watson in Dumfries. Um, 53.2% and I can't remember how old it is, but it's a Beaumore. Uh, so it'd be nice to try a Beaumore which mm. has natural colour and cask strength. I presume. Finally, we got a peacock. We all, we all want to do back peacock. Aha, yes. Scotch Whiskey Auctions. This is the 33 year old Vega and it is 46.2% and it is a blended malt. And we did have a little sip of the 23 year old Vega, didn't we? At, um, at Archie. At the Ardshield uh, Hotel bar in Campbelltown. Mm. Oh. I think that's good. Cool. I wanted to keep it the 33 then. Mm. <laughs> a very kind of a classic, rich caramel. Look how dark that is. 33 years old. I think again, I'll check the price. Uh, around 150 ish. Not bad. Maybe it was more. Ooh, I'll put the price in if I've got it wrong. Okay. I know you just saw Springbank in the last one. But same Robert Graham, same story about buying it VAT free because of the US address. Can you see that that is the ruby one? Uh, the port. Port finished amongst other things. Again, coming in at about 183 pounds for that. Oh. A wooden box full of bubble wrap. It's got one of these. Anyone guess what it is yet? Can you, can you guess what it is yet? Oh, a bit of a fetish bottle. We almost get up this box. I, I sort of blame uh, Rob, Rob in the Six, <laughs> Whiskey in the Six, for this one. Oh, hang on. I've got this the wrong way around. Well, I guess we'll just take it out. Hold that for a second. It is the Highland Park. It won't be living in that box that smells like varnish. Uh, this is the 45.7% 25-year-old. And this is about a $700 bottle in the US. And it was still expensive at £350, I think it was. Was it that much? I'll double check. Uh, but it'll be a while before we get to that one in our blind tasting. Ooh. Is that it? 
That's it for that bag. But there's one more bag to go. The last bag. So far, everything has it was supposed survived. to be our uh, I guess. Yeah, it was going to be carry on until we had too many. Ah, oh, there is all our, all our leaflets and papers and art bag uh, tour tickets and nice. Ooh, clue. Find one. Let's go straight in with this mystery bottle. <laughs> Not much of a mystery, is it? Because we've kind of given it away in the last one. Scotch Back whiskey auctions. Oh, it's this for ABV. It is the. Um, How about the PPM beat? It's the Octomore 6.3. PPM is 258. And we have the 10 year version of this in the sample bottle. So I'll be very curious to try them side by side. Uh, we definitely overpaid for that bottle. It's come, become a bit collectible. And I think we ended up paying 230. Mm, it's not gonna be able to live up to that. Is it? Another bottle that may have I a- more pretty than the 10 years either. Another bottle that may or may not be able to live up to things, but apparently it's doing quite well so far, is the Ardbeg Trevan, the 19 year old. And 46.2%. And we were just at the distillery at the time that it was launched. <laughs> <laughs> so we were able to buy it at um, 169, uh, which is still an expensive bottle, but it, it was at least the price of the distillery. Oh, there's your glasses. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I thought, I thought we had already undone all the glassware, but no. Oh, and I thought... <laughs> Ben's other thistle glass. It's from his feet of Ben, got a pair for both of us. And we're talking about uh, Whiskey Geek Ben here. Ben and Joe, it was nice to see them. And this one concentrates the, the aromas on the nose. It was really interesting. I can bear that and you could get the fruits. Oh. I'm quite excited about this one. That was, uh, I forgot who the bottle is from. Oh, Scotch whiskey auctions. But, but what is it? You read it out while I get this out. It's a bottle of Dutch ABV and a put that with the ox it. What is it? Oh, is it called here? 25 years. Deep is burying the lead here. And from Ira. So it's a Dunbegan single malt scotch whiskey. So this is a independent bottler. <laughs> yeah, the box is kind of fancy. And it is a 25 year old Colila. It is one of 264 bottles from a hogshead. That was not expensive considering it's a 25 year Colila. And I, I think it was only 110 pounds. In fact, I think that was slightly cheaper than the four-year-old Annandale. Mm -hmm. Just for some perspective. Oh, hey, <laughs> Pooja's whiskey flask. It's another Caden head. Uh, I think we got it from the Austin as well. That's right. We didn't actually buy this one at Cadenhead Warehouse. It's a 28 uh, year shop. Island Park. 28 year Highland Gastric. Park. Gastric. What is the cast? But it's by ABV. Yes. Um, just a bourbon hogshead. So no sherry in this 28 year old Highland Park. 
So I'm very curious to, to taste a old Highland Park uh, independent bottle. Especially when it's not the normal treatment. Would that be peaty? It's certainly not going to be sherry, is it? Oh. Let's hang on to that one a minute. Okay, there's one. Then here, when you do, you got the from some breeze shot. But a good deed that's what we bought it. It was on sale, I think. From what? What? Sherry put finish. Just some padding. Don't need to see that. I hear BV is back in six. It's beaded. Stacking Edison. Um, and it was a, I think this was on sale at £123. 46% peated edition. I'm trying to work out though, isn't it? Albariza. Finished in Pedro Jimenez. Okay, yes. So it's Ped PX finish and peated. And I think we, they had a few on sale and we picked this one based on whiskey based reviews that this one got a pretty good score. And so we're hoping for good things with the Ben Riek. Let's put it over there. Lager Vullen. <laughs> We got that from... We got oh, it from... From the bit off. So we were poured a dram of this by Ian MacArthur at Lagavulin. First one we want to do is the Isla Festival one. The Isla Festival one is 19 year old and it's 53.8. Who's the cook tonight? Is it you? <laughs> I'm not cooking. And we were able to pour him an Elijah Craig in return. <laughs> yeah, give that a go. See what, you think. See what Ian thinks of uh, batch C918. Very nice. Yeah. People like that. sweet. Yeah. Good, good and good. strong. Oh, lovely. This is the Fischiel. Fischiel? Fessiel. Fischiel. I think Fischiel is probably closest. Um, from 2019. It is 53.8% and it's a 19 year old lag of volume. We were kind of excited about the jazz festival bottle because it was going to be released while we were there on our last day until I found out that it was a 395 pound bottle for a 21 year old. And this was 150 pounds, not a cheap bottle, but by comparison, it started to look like a good deal. I bought the ABV at that one to remember. It was a bit lower because it was older, but I don't remember. It was still full cast strength. Is this the last bottle? I think this is it. I can't find any more. But it's the other ass. But the ass one. Yeah. The latest Glen Alushi yeah. limited edition. Right, I know, I saw that stand out. And, um... A 13, what is it? Yeah. It's a 13 year we old. We had three cases of it. Oh, it's a port pipe. Yeah, we had three cases of it. Yeah. And they went in three hours. Yeah. Yeah. And the rep from Gordon Gaffar says, oh, I can probably get you an odd bottle. And she got us that bottle. And this one's been And it's on the out. website and it's just not sold. That's it's, funny. It's really... Really strange. And is that a cask strength? Is that a single barrel? Yeah, uh, I don't know. I've got my see. glasses on. Oh, yeah. Well, it has yeah. a cask number, so. Yeah, yeah. Bottle number. <coughs> and it is at. Oh, yeah, it's at 60%. Mm. And how much is that one then, Paul? Uh, I'd have to look it up. It's about 130. Yeah. That's an interesting bottle. Hiya. Hiya. Mm -hmm. Do some research. If you want one to invest, that's a good one. Yeah, that does look like a good one. That, did you know that that's the Ralphie bottle? Oh. Let's just let's just go and have another look. Quick, Paul's not looking. Let's go. See you, Paul. <laughs> See you, Paul. <laughs> We can pair it with our Ralphie Ben Nevis and uh, you know there's this is the one for the UK 
There's actually a Glenallachy, a separate one. I think it's an Oloroso finish for the US. I don't know where they might be. Has anyone got one in the US? One. This one is the port. Oh. Well, port pipe. So there you go. I'm looking at the table over there. Now um, have you got it? Wow. That does look like wow. an amazing collection, doesn't it? Uh, let's clear the table. We'll maybe give you a quick shot of what's piled up over there. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not sure if Scotland is the land of whiskey or if our table is the land of whiskey.